I guess it's always a matter of like weighing the pros and cons of everything and looking beyond just maybe the most current shiny crisis. This is going to sound really ridiculous, but I'm not sure crises are bad because if you don't have crises, you don't have the run up. And let me give you a specific example. So there's a guy by the name of Jay Cook. And Jay Cook was like the banker, the financier of the day back in the Civil War. Jay Cook was really the first person to figure out how to like mass market the sale of government bonds. Grant basically said like, had it not been for Jay Cook, like, I don't know if we could have financed this. I don't know if we could have won this war. After the war, the government goes to Jay Cook and says, we're trying to shore up the northern border of the United States because the Brits are trying to come down. And, you know, the way you shore up a border like that is you populate that area. The way you populate that area at the time is you build a railroad. So they're building the Northern Pacific. But the issue is that they're having problems financing it. Well, if you have problems financing something, you go to Jay Cook. He says, what can you do for us? He says, look, I'll, I'll take care of the financing of this. He takes care of the financing, basically takes it all onto his own balance sheet. And there's a panic at the time. It causes his bank to go down. When his bank failed, it would be like J.P. Morgan failing, J.P. Morgan Chase. I mean, it was that significant. That caused a wave of other bank failures. So you look at that and you say, like, yeah, like the panic of 1873 and the resulting depression afterwards was bad and nobody liked it and blah, blah, blah. But, like, we got the Northern Pacific and we shored up that border. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was it worth it? I don't know. But, like, it's not clearly one way or the other.